Oh, the tram wall. Oh, I did, I remember that, yeah. You spread this tram water. I don't believe it ever worked, but anyway, it was worth a try. <laughs> yeah, the trams were the little leather jacket grubs. You used to eat the roots of them. Corn, especially beet. There was a problem with beet, especially after lays. So to get some, I don't know how you spread the tram water. You get off, I suppose, it was the priest, was it? Yeah, the it, was, it was the kind of holy water. You spread it on the feet, it was supposed to kill these leather jackets. Jesus. Not too sure how it worked now, but yeah, the tram water. It just often. It had me do so. <laughs> yeah, we do, yeah, but that's what they did. Yeah, they had belief in it. Yeah, they were, yeah, they believed in this tram water. But that's what the trams were, the leather jackets. No, you don't whitewash the first minute, that's all. Never heard that one. Did I? You don't whitewash. On the first of May? Yeah. I wouldn't approve of whitewashing any day in the year. I wouldn't have, but that's the room that <laughs> What? I've never heard of it even. You know what I'm doing now anyway. No. It was the cure for, for the fowls of the foot in, in, in the cow and the cattle. And where they put their foot, yeah, you cut the thing around it. I, I think you put a cross on it and you turned it upside down, I think, and that was supposed to cure it. Now I don't know whether it ever worked or not, but look at it, that's what they did. I assume that was before the time for penicillin come in. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, a lot of farm. I remember my mother doing that. Can you use that? Please. Yeah, I thought it was a calf. It was for the calf. No, it wouldn't be the first milking now. That'll be really pure yellow. Yeah, maybe the second day or the third day, they'd be still yellow. And um, make the pancakes out of that. Yeah, they are lovely yellow. The pancakes were lovely, actually. Yeah, they were lovely yellow. No, so, they yeah. never that way, though. Did you not? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, yeah. I know, that was a common thing. Yeah. yeah. If you lay, you lay on, the, on the bed three times, three different occasions. It's supposed to cure the pain in your back. I don't think it worked either. Oh, well, I tried with that back. I tried it. Didn't work. You didn't do it three times, did you? Do you know something? I might go back again and do it, do it the three times. I can't remember, but maybe I only did it once. Maybe, maybe that's where I fell yeah. down on it, yeah. <laughs> We'd want to find day. It's not very comfortable, actually. <laughs> You're supposed to say, Mum's supposed to sleep on that at night time. He probably didn't because. It's at such an angle you'd fall off. <laughs> yeah, it's going to slope, it's slope, it's that way, and it's going to slope again. It's, yeah, yeah, so I'm not sure if that worked or not, but anyway, it was worth a try. <laughs> Always do it, heavy, hungry chaps, chill. Everybody down there, in my area that time. The one in the morning, still in down, down the manage road. Oh, Elsie Donnelly, she was the only one had it for years. She still does? Yeah. And she's 94 or 5 years of age. Yeah. There was a woman out home, a neighbour of mine used to do it every year as well, she's dead since, so it's not been done anymore. I don't know of anyone. Eggshells and ribbons, everything. There's a whole lot on it, yeah. Primroses. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I remember doing that when I was living in the village here. You call around to the farmers, you had an egg off of each farmer. Yeah, we did, yeah, that was great fun. <laughs> Imagine, we were only seven or eight, you can go where you like that time. Jeez, I don't see any parents, clown chaps to run around the place now with that age looking for eggs. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what we call it. We're looking, to, you go, Vianney, you'd ask the farmer if you had any Easter eggs. <laughs> He'd know, everyone around knew what, because it was done. I presume it's all died out. There's no farmer who keeps sending them. I never done that. Did you not, mate? No. Ah, yeah, we did. We just do it when we were living in the village. <laughs> and then we moved out two miles out the road. They used to call it our place, then some of the chaps would be looking for <laughs> Things, yeah. <laughs> it was good fun. The foot was on the other foot. The foot was on the other foot then, yeah. But it was good fun though. Yeah, I don't remember that well, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, well, you, you weren't allowed to touch anything. You, know, you wouldn't right? go near him anyway. You wouldn't go near You wouldn't, you wouldn't no, go near no, this fellow either. No, no. You wouldn't dish the field, that's all. You wouldn't go yeah. interfere with it. Yeah. Touch it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No, we never did it. Even the chaps now, and I would never touch the bless well up there or anything. I don't know, it's straight off now. The Raz say, I don't know of anyone that would have been touching in a Raz, no. It's just seemingly a sacred place. So you say your, your dressing house would shake if you did touch it. You know that one? Yeah. I couldn't get out to feed myself before I come home from midnight mass. But all the Raz is foggy night, that's all. I just couldn't find I couldn't find the gate. <laughs> we went around for most of the two hours for a good little <laughs> Oh, that was definitely the banshee, mate. Had to be. <laughs> well, the fog night, you wouldn't see in front of you, two foot in front of you that night. Uh, I'll never forget. Uh, Only 12 and 13 at the time. 
I've yeah. heard of me sleep several times. Go out to see what I am at the door. Well, that never happened. Yeah. Nice, but they got it. Well, Robin coming to your house is supposed to be unlucky, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. I, yeah. I've had a Robin in a couple of times. Try to get him out. Did you? Uh, no, never. Neighbour never over the road had a medal. It was supposed to show ringworm and groats and all that type of thing. And when we were children, there was always people calling in looking for that woman with the um, medal. So there didn't seem to be any cure for ringworm, medical cure for it. But um, I know a few years ago, my wife had a wart and sticking out of her eyelid here, just appeared all of a sudden. One in wart with a long stem, so she went to the doctor and she organi- he, he organised a visit to a um, specialist to see what he take it off. So in the meantime, I had happened on the lady over the road that had the medal, and I asked, would it help? She said, yeah, better than down to her. So she went down to her. She cancelled the specialist, and with about two weeks, the wart fell off. You could see the stem turning all black, and it just dropped off. Just fell off. It didn't even leave a mark. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, but young fella had, had warts on his hands, between his fingers, and then pans his hands. And they were bleeding and causing distress, so we decided to bring him down to the Blessedwell and Trinity. It's supposed to be a cure for him. We went down the first time, and the second time, and the third time. After a week, then a third visit, they were fell off. Yeah. Gone. He never got him back. I'm rotten, she can tag it. You want she can tag it? It was supposed to. What's your tunnel from there to there? But I wouldn't believe it, it's too long. It's just three miles, I don't believe anyone would dig a tunnel that. Do you remember that one we got? That was very slow. Yeah, yeah. It was a tunnel up there to there. Yeah. The tunnel went to that one. Yeah. yeah, that was always. We always heard that there was a tunnel going. No one ever knew where it was or found it. Or it was just the story was passed down. So we were looking for an opening in the castle at the moment. We couldn't find no opening. That'd be going in that direction. Yeah, no, that's not. No. We looked around several times to see. Yeah. No yeah. sign of no. The Bones Castle is supposed to be haunted. That's, that was rumours that being haunted. Did it happen to you? Yeah, when I come home. Your John, we was yeah. saw a ghost there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him about it, mate. Yeah, we're going, we're going home to the village one here. We live at half eleven. The last was all going home for the getting to bed. And we saw this thing going down the hill. We were up, we were up the hill, and Lisa was coming down. Could see you coming down walking down. He said, Good night. Looked over, nothing there. John and my brother took off running. He never stopped to go home and never came back to Monday more. All it was a, a bloody bush waving in the side of the ditch. <laughs> Frightened the daylight. Well, I, said, I, I said goodnight. <laughs> well, he was convinced it was somebody. Because Nicholas the, the man's wife was supposed to appear to him. And he came from home money. He's supposed to have yeah. There was a story, a story about the bow going back. One man, three of them supposed to heard this bow anyway on the ram, and whatever sort of a noise he makes, I don't know. That's only going back about 15 years ago. So what's what you're doing in Ridley Field? In, in yeah, no, this was, out, this was out in Cool Rahi now. But the sound of only heard, whatever they heard anyhow with the run, said the reckons they heard was the banshee. Well, we were going off to one money when we were chaps, himself and my brother, two brothers, and Nicky Kane. And we heard a squeal up at the top of the hill at Nick Simmons, in the you know, little, little nook there in the corner. Yes, yeah. So, the, so all the while, probably was a, some cut of hair or a rabbit. Or yeah. But last for sure, the open banshee for the bow or the cooking hall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're not being recorded on this, are we? Yeah, yeah. Yes, talk away, Mick. Yeah, of course. That's all right. That's all part of the story.